Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with fresh strawberry granita. That's right, granita is a very simple Italian frozen ice dessert. Actually, I guess frozen and ice are redundant, but you know what? I already said it. But regardless, if you can find some beautiful, sweet, fresh strawberries, you have a working freezer, and you're pretty handy with a fork, you can make this ultra simple and incredibly gorgeous warm weather treat. So let me show you how to do this. We're gonna start by trimming some strawberries. And all that means is we're gonna cut off the green top and cut them in half. And you can just cut straight across the top if you want, but if you go in at an angle with the tip of the knife, you'll save some strawberry. So let me show you that again. Hold the knife way towards the tip, just like that, and then stick that point right underneath the green part, like at a 45 degree angle, and just rotate it around and that top will come right off and you won't lose much. So we're gonna trim all the tops off the strawberries, cut them in half. I'm gonna throw those in a colander and I'm gonna rinse those in cold water. Let them drain a little bit. And then we're gonna transfer those into our blender. And then to the strawberries, we're gonna add some sugar and some water. And I know a lot of people will insist you have to make a simple syrup, boil the sugar water first. You don't. So it's gonna be fine just like this. So we got our strawberry, our sugar, and our water. And those are the only actual required ingredients. The next couple things you see me put in here are totally optional, but recommended. The first of which would be a tiny pinch of salt, and then just a few drops of balsamic vinegar, maybe quarter of a teaspoon, and then about a half a teaspoon, if that, of lemon juice. So just a little bit of acidity to balance the sweetness, to brighten up the flavors. Again, optional. But like most of my optional ingredients, I demand you add them. So let's go ahead and pop on the lid. We're going to pulse that on and off to get it started. And once it gets going, we're going to let that run until it's completely smooth. Of course, this is edited, not in real time. That probably took like a minute. And then we're simply going to pour that into a large casserole dish. So we're going to pour that in. We're going to give it the old shake a shake -a. No, there was no reason for that. I just felt like doing it. And by the way, it's very important to use a nice wide pan. You really don't want it any deeper than that, okay? So fingernail deep. So at that point, we're gonna throw this in the freezer uncovered for about 45 minutes, after which time it should just barely be starting to freeze around the edges. And then in towards the center, it's just gonna be kind of slushy. So what I want you to do is take a fork and kind of pull those frozen crystals from the edge of the pan into the center and just mix it all up. Okay, so at this stage, don't expect a lot to be happening. We're basically just giving it a mix. We're gonna return that to the freezer for another half hour, 40 minutes or so. And at that point, it should be starting to freeze. And at that point, we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna take a fork and we're just gonna give that a good mixing. Now I should mention that some people use a simpler method. They put it in once, let it freeze all the way, and then scrape it with a fork and break it up. That's definitely a legitimate technique, but I think the texture of this method where you break it up three or four times while it freezes is superior. And yes, if you wanna take a little taste, go ahead, but be careful. If you take like 10 bites every time you mix this up, you won't have any left. All right, in the business, we call that Cheech and Chonging the Granita. So don't do that. Okay, so that looks good. We're gonna go ahead and throw that back in the freezer. We're gonna wait another half hour or so, take the fork, give it another mix. Now, by the way, I'm bringing this out of the freezer just so I can film it. You can do everything in the freezer. Open the door, stick your face in there, give it a mix, close the door, come back a half hour later, do it again. And if you repeat that process three or four times, you will have something that looks like this. And the word granita is from the root of the same word for granite, because supposedly when this is done correctly, it looks like crushed stone, which it kind of does. As you can see here, as we portion it up, we have just a beautiful, beautifully colored, absolutely granular strawberry ice. Look at that. And by the way, remember when that consultant came into work and kept using the word granular and nobody knew what they were talking about? That was kind of funny. But anyway, in addition to its gorgeous granular look, it also tastes fantastic. Just pure, icy cold, fruity goodness. So while yes, there is a lot of forking involved, I think this final product is totally worth the effort. And of course it is so beautiful, you really don't need a garnish, but if you are gonna garnish, you definitely wanna go with a sprig of heirloom spearmint. That would be perfect. Although I know that can be a little tough to find, so if you wanna substitute, you could go with foraged wild strawberries. That would be nice too, okay? So I really hope you give this a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.